a MAC address is a unique address of the device. Okay? Mura siya kung, kung sa ato apa, mura siya fingerprint na ito. Okay? Na kining fingerprint ta ako dyan eh. So, mura, kaya na siyang MAC address, wala dyan ka pareha sa anak. Siguro, oh, except of, na may mga editor niya. Ano ba itong mga, mga, mga ano ka, mga i-hide ni mo ang info ni mo, tapos pati mga address ni mo, i-change ni mo, possible mga gano'n siya. Pero, as again, uh, mac address is a unique for every devices. So, later we'll discuss that one. And, later, we will get, unsa, kung na kay mac address, makibaw ka sa unsang device na siya. Okay, so later I'll be showing you kung saan ito pagkibaw. So, Okay. So, wait. okay. So, katung ganiha. So, mani ang ato ang destination of source MAC address. So, ganiha di ba nag-transfer man ta sa ato ang ato ang katong encapsulated na mga datas no sa kada layer then kabantay mo ganiha na may PDU or katong iyahang unit of data sa OSI or packet sa TCPIP so sa ethernet frame so mani siyang gitawag na packets di ba or the PDUs sa atong PDUs naanak siya ay mga specific information so katong ginyo na ko mani siya So, na siya number one, preamble, which is informs the receiving system that a frame is starting and enable synchronization. So, under that, pag encapsulated, apit sa information na makuha niya is the preamble. So, mag-ingon siya nga, na ay nai mo, so, o gikinahangla na ako, mag-synchronize ta. Kung Bluetooth pa na, i-prepare ni mo. Okay? So, next part, of the PDU or Ethernet frame in the TCP IP, which is the start frame delimiter, signifies that the destination MAC address field begins with the next byte. And the next is the destination MAC and the source MAC. So, kini, so, identify niya kung unsay MAC address sa destination o sa source na nag-transmit. So, identify na niya. So, para may bawaan kung kanggin sa nigikan o asa ni siya pa doon. Okay, again, kung wala ni siya, so, magsaag-saag ang information. Next is the type. So, if you could see na siya yung mga byte, later on, I'll discuss that one. Defines the type of protocol inside the frame. For example, IPv4 or IPv6. So, mani siya nag-identify itong IPv4 or V6 ba na siya. Later on, we'll have also that one. So, data and pods. So, from here, so this is the data itself. It contains the payload data. Padding data is added to meet the minimum length requirement for this field, which is 46 bytes. Then, the frame check sequence. So, it allows a cyclic redundancy and the detection of corrupted data. So, now na, kung may corrupted data, di ba, pag ano, na yung mapapap man, na corrupted data, di li siya ma-open, so, nga na ni siyang ingani. Okay. So, mga ni siya isood sa ato ang PDU na gi-encapsulate. Ano man lang. So, those are information. So, ano siya. So, now, what is a MAC and IP address? Let's start with the MAC address as uh, Mozart told that MAC is a media access control address. So, it is a 48-bit or 6 bytes address that is used for communication between two hosts, okay, from the receiver and the sender. So, in the Ethernet environment, it is a hardware address, which means that it is stored in the firmware of your network card, okay. So, muna siya address sa, na stores in your network card, na unique na siya sa kada usa. So, sir, sa kadaghan kayo, sir, hindi ka maglibog sila sir pag assign so delay the first okay there are 48 bits di ba so sa usa ka bit na akay okay there are 48 
bits. So, sa one byte, sa one byte, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, this is one byte. So, this is equivalent to one byte. So, kada usa nila, kini, that, that is called a bit. A bit is either one or zero. So, this group of four is called hexadecimal. So, so group of four that is called the hexadecimal, hexadecimal number. So, those are called the hexadecimal. Okay. So, that's why when you when you see hexadecimal, so for example, this one are all one. Therefore, the 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 first part of those MAC address is FF. Nakay makita ng FF, tapos nakod, and continue zero six ba or unsa? So each of these are are hexadecimal numbers and letters. Then this composed in every part niya na akay one byte or eight bits. Then, the, di ba, ang ingon, there are six bytes in a MAC address. So, for example, let's say, okay, I, I did not memorize, uh, dili na ko memorize na ng MAC address at kada vendor. Okay, let's just say, uh, I, I put my MAC, I, I put the MAC address of, of HP here. So, the first part here, di ba, we have the six we have the six bytes. So, according here, you have six, six bytes in your MAC address. Okay? So, the first six bytes of your MAC address, uh, the first three bytes of your MAC address. So, this is four, uh, this is eight, 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 eight. So, this is, so, eight, 16, 32, and etc. So here you have eight sixteen, yeah, eight sixteen, um, then plus eight. So one shot. Twenty four. So you have twenty four, twenty four. So the first twenty four signifies what brand. What brand is your device? So it check in you hang ano? It check in you hang. MAC address sa inyong computer. Okay? Could you check your MAC address or MAC address sa inyong uh, cellphone? So, to check your MAC address sa inyong device, you just go to your command prompt. CMD. Command prompt. Okay? I'm sure ob uban ani kay maayo na kayo. So let's just go with the process lang. If you are using Windows, uh, start with command prompt. Start, then program access, then command prompt, or you just search it. So then type ip config, then slash all. So you could see all your information sa imuhang computer. And it says here, your MAC address is your, this one, the physical address. Diba? So, okay, where is it? So, my internet adapter is using a MAC address of 78. 78. So we have 78 E3B5 60. So it is from Realtek. So let's try if it is really from Realtek. Okay, hopefully it will work. Okay, so it, I've said it already to you. You could just look at this website. Okay. Let me copy this one. Scrolls. So, the website is wireshark.org. Then, under the tools and OUI or for. Okay. So, 
OUI is So, you will see this site. It's just a simple site that you could search your OUI. So, so organizationally unique identifier. meaning yet. So, the first 24 bits is called the OUI. Manay customer ma. So, OUI. And the other 24 bits is the assigned by the vendor. So, pasabot, i-assign na siya ni vendor para sa kada usa na ilahang device na gibaligya. So, karon, let's try to check and confirm if my 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 MAC address is really from my it Sorry guys, lisod ning mag ano mga Okay. So, my MAC address is for this Realtek, my net, net, Ethernet adapter, network adapter is 78 78-E3 E3 E3-B5 Actually, pwede rin naman na kanang first 3 naman, kaya mara mo na yung identify Okay, or just write everything dash 60 dash E9 dash EB. So, let's do fine. So, if you could see, this part is from my, it says, okay, that this three, this three is came from my Helvet Packard nga device. So, which I'm using my HP laptop, which is Helvet Packard. Okay? So, naan na siya assign So, sa inyo ha, makitaan ko na ninyo. Unsa? Like, merag nag, nagbutang po ko sa Dell. Okay? Okay? So, OUI is your unique identifier sa inyong device. So, para ma-check. So, manufacturers agree to give all the NICs and the MAC address that begins with the assigned OU. Sorry. Unique identifier. So, the manufacturer then assigns a unique value for the last three bytes. So, for the last three bytes, so, kini, kini, kini. Unique identifier na na siya, which ensures that every MAC address is globally unique. So, kanyari, kini, pang Helvet Packard po ni. So, nasa na yung mga assign na pang Helvet Packard, tapos kini, i-change change na niya. Kanyari, kini, pang, pang unsa ba ni siyang device sa Helvet Packard. Tapos kini, lahi po ni siya. So, pang device, kanyari, kung e 4 na ko ni siya, lahi pong device na siya. Like, let's say, printer, let's say, and other devices na siya. Di ko kahibaw na kung unsa ni siya, kini. Okay, sila na yung nakibaw anak sa ilahan na na. So, kini, kini, kung na kay Mac na sugod ani, that is Helvet Packard. Kung na kay Mac address ni nga ni, Cine Technology na siya. So, let's try here. What happened to my Mac stop wait? So, I'll write that one. So, let me find. So, if you could see, that is Cine Technology Incorporated. So, if I delete this one, so, it will still give you the same. So, same. So, meaning, I copy this one para makit anjod. Ah, 0801 A1. Tapos, sbo na na to. 1, buto na to. 2, a1. So, no matches. So, let's put it back. So, it's still the same. So, it really means that the OUI is just the first 
3 bytes.